Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Rob back with another episode of Inside the Word. I was off last week uh, because I had to work, so I didn't get one done. Uh, today, I'm actually doing it a day early, so I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, and, and just so you know, if you got any little kids, this may be a little bit more of a sensitive topic. So if you got kids, maybe listen to it first uh, before you play it up to you. Uh, it's Bible. So <laughs> kids, I think, should be able to hear it, but that's up to you because it does get a little bit graphic for a second. We're going to go to Romans 8. And, and verse 5 says, For those who live according to the flesh think about the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit about the things of the spirit. Verse 7, for the mindset of the flesh is hostile to God because it does not submit itself to God's law, for it is unable to do so. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Uh, going down, uh, oh, well, verse 9, you, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, since the spirit of God lives in you. Uh, going to verse 12, we are not obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh, for if you live according to the flesh, you are going to die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. And uh, there's a lot in the Bible about sexual immorality. Uh, this isn't necessarily just about sexual immorality, uh, but that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, last night I had a, a weird, a weird dream, uh, and I couldn't help when I woke up but to think that there were some spiritual connotations to it. Um, Here's where it's going to get graphic. There was a snake, and for some reason, I wanted to have sex with this snake. And I knocked it off the fence, but then I got a little scared. Uh, and then the snake started going toward my wife. And by the time it got close to my wife, it had gotten like four times its size. And, um, <laughs> and so I was kind of at a distance, and I was like, oh no, it's going to get my wife. And I thought I might eat her, devour her, whatever, you know, kill my wife. And so I picked up a rock and I threw it. And I don't know how I did, but it just easily just pop, sliced through the snake and chopped its head off. Uh, and there was more to the dream I won't get into because there's some things I'm still discerning. But uh, it's, it seemed like it was so easy just to kill that snake. But the thing is, you know, as we know in the Bible, the snake, the serpent represents Satan. And I felt that that was... Uh, having to do with some of my past as, as anybody who's followed me for a long time, you may know uh, I've struggled with, with lust and pornography since I was in preschool. Okay. Uh, for those who don't know, like my mom came one day and found me, I was four years old with just playboys and whatever, dirty magazines all around me, just looking at them at that age. And so my whole life, that's something I've had to struggle with, wrestle against. I've had times where I've gone forever and not looked at it. And then times where I'm just every day doing it. And, uh, and in a moment of, of, of honesty, uh, a couple nights ago, uh, I went, I saw this post on fate on Twitter and I was like, I didn't know what they was talking about. And then I saw another post by a minister who was condemning something. I put two and two together. I'm like, Hmm, I think there's a video on YouTube that might interest my flesh. And so I went to YouTube. I started to play the video and then, uh, and before, thankfully, before, I don't know where, where the video goes, you know, the most I saw in there was a little bit of cleavage. Well, it was a lot of cleavage, but uh, that ain't even a big deal to some of y'all that might be. Uh, I'll leave that to your own conscience or whatever. But uh, as I sat there and I'm, I'm just seconds into this video and I'm like, you know what? This ain't me no more. <laughs> and I turned it off and I, I thank God, you know, I just I, I threw that rock. And cut the head of that serpent off. You know, that flesh, it'll still, even after years or anything, he'll he'll still try to get you. That flesh is still coming after you. That snake, that serpent, the devil, still want to get you. And you know what? Uh, if men out there, if you lusting, if you're looking at pornography, guess what? That's going to hurt your wife. That snake is coming after your wife, and that's going to destroy her. So not only will it destroy you, but it will destroy your wife in the process. And hey, I know there's women out there that look at pornography uh, and this, this wasn't a pornographic video. This was just a music video. I don't know what all was on it. I didn't get that far into it. I didn't let it. I didn't want to go that route. I didn't want to go back to the old Rob. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so just be careful. Guard your heart in Christ Jesus. Guard your heart. Guard your eyes. Watch what you're putting in. Uh, you know, hey, I watch a lot of stuff, uh, that has a lot of garbage in it. 
Um, but my purpose isn't to watch that. Now, I, again, I leave that to your conscience on what you watch for entertainment purposes. But my, I can tell you my purpose that I wanted to watch a YouTube video. I wanted to see some flesh. I wanted to gratify, gratify my sexual urges through my eyes. And that was sinful. And so that's why I shut it off before it even got nowhere. And I repented. And, and then the next night I had a dream about that snake almost devouring my wife. Uh, so I just want to encourage you. The mind of the flesh is death, but the mind of the spirit is life and peace. And if you follow Christ uh, and you give him everything, you submit. You submit that flesh. You lay it down as a living sacrifice. Amen. I believe that's Romans 12. A uh, living sacrifice to God. You lay it on the altar. And I'll tell you what. No matter how much that temptation comes and how much it hurts to resist that temptation sometimes, nothing hurts worse than giving in. When you don't give in, you feel so much better afterward. Uh, when you give in, you might feel good for a minute, and then that's it. And then just guilt and shame come in. And that's that's not what we want to live. We want to live right in the eyes of God. And he has given us a spirit. It's easy. That rock, I didn't think that rock was going to do nothing. I thought it would maybe scare off the snake, but it just <laughs> cut that snake's head off. And, and, you know, we have the tools. We have because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Amen. So you have what it takes. The spirit of God is in you. If you are a believer, the spirit of God lives in you. And you have everything you need for life and godliness. So take courage. Take heart. You have what it takes. You just got to rest in his promise and use those weapons that he's given you. Amen. All right. I love you guys. Peace.